Welcome back, sailing Ruby Rose. Ruby Rose 2 is being launched. Two hours, not two days, not two weeks, not two months, not even two years, two hours. We've been waiting for this for four years, four years. Good morning, my little Ruby Roses. It is Monday, Monday the ooh, 9th, 9th of June. The first the launch was delayed by three days because uh, paperwork, paperwork needed to be filed. And so tomorrow is launch day. So, and now because it's Monday morning, the team have been working all weekend. There is a lot to show you, small details, what is gonna make this boat our home. So let us start with the exterior. First, we have these clears. Now the clears are removable, but also foldable. So here we have side clears. Now that obviously will keep everyone dry and it does almost give you 50% of the cockpit closed off, which is super, super clever. Cockpit is complete. We've obviously got the matting to go down, but now finally our cup holders are in. So I will obviously be having my beverages on there. I've also put the shade netting over here. So that's all popped on. One thing I have just picked up on is that there was a, not a flaw, but there was an issue with the 1600, uh, with the 1260. And that issue was that where the line for the trifold door went down through the, the coach roof, it dripped. But it seems now that they've done this. They put a little cowl over it to stop water getting through. So that has been changed. That's excellent news. Other things to note is that they now have handrails handrails where the upstand used to be that upstand i was never happy with it i always thought it was dangerous and it's good to see that uh, yeah now we've got like a big big grippy handle that's what i want a big grippy damned handle okay ladies and gentlemen please please enter ruby rose 2 because despite the fact it's a bit of a mess there is so much good stuff here number one this absolutely stunning bird's eye maple desk it is a real feature of this boat not quite finished yet there's some work to be done so but yeah it looks amazing and the satin coat varnish i know that this is a small point but the actual finish and the varnish is something you really do need to look at similarly swinging round they've actually exposed the whole galley workstop now and it looks epic and here is the finished galley there is some final buffering to be done but let's just run you through this a lot of beautiful corian the freshwater faucet the saltwater faucet there is a door on this cupboard now underneath the hob top for our spices and our teas the beautiful induction hob and then we have that dual microwave and conventional oven all in there so again we're very very into cooking but this area it is stunning once it's all polished once it's all dressed with the blinds in place this is going to be an area that we're really going to love spending time in with ourselves and also with our guests so you can see the large expanse here it really is the focal point of the boat and so ladies and gentlemen it is me signing off monday monday the 9th of june i'll be back tomorrow the 10th of june to watch this boat being launched so the team have a crazy, crazy big day ahead of them. This is why I am here at 20 past six in the morning, so that I don't get in their way. And I will see you all tomorrow. So here we are, I'm just gonna slip my shoes off. The crane, the crane's arrived. Ah, uh, tender is on board, the dinghy is on board. Really amazing to see. Those beautiful carbon fiber steering wheels in place. The ever diligent Mr. Khan and Mr. Lin, who Mr. Khan has been on this project since the very, very beginning, Mr. Lin, has been here about a year. They are super diligent. Just doing final preparations before everything gets lifted up. So the workers are getting off the boat. There are some last minute tools. Everyone's pretty stressed. Crane operator ready to go. Mr. Khan ready to go. Everything ready to go. So it's uh, 10 past 10. I think the skies are going to open in a bit. Team's all in place. Amazingly, Lucas has managed to get himself out of bed. Still on Buenos Aires time, but yeah. Ruby Rose 2 is gonna come up, go all the way down there. They have taken the mast. They put the mast uh, all the way down there to be stepped. So the team just rolled that past and then lifting straps and then up. And I will be running around with a, like a blue ass fly, getting everything filmed for you all. One thing, and I do really want to run through this. Um, we always do this, um, but thank you to our patrons for reminding us. 
this a British coin. It's a British pound coin. And the reason that I'm using this pound coin is that the pound coin will go underneath the mask. This coin was in, I found it in my oil skins. This, this coin has done 25,000 miles around the globe with me. Don't know why, but yeah, so this will go under the mast. Anyway, let's, uh, let's get back to filming. And so the moment of truth, the first step to launching a boat, it's getting these harnesses, it's getting the lifting straps at the right place, at the right point. For those of you that own boats or have seen this done before, there are specific areas on any boat where straps have to go and lifting this up is a moment that no matter how many times you've seen it done always leaves you with a lump in your throat but to see our girl finally out of the factory out of the shed moving onto that flatbed truck it is a real big thing for us with the boat hanging two three meters in the air the flatbed is reversed into the area lowered carefully onto the truck onto those big polystyrene blocks and then slowly delivered dockside. The crane then follows and with the crane in place, we are in a position where finally Ruby Rose 2 can be lifted off the truck and for the first time get her black bottom wet. 11 o'clock in the morning, lots going on. It's pretty manic here. They've moved Ruby Rose 2 from over in the yard to the dockside, they will now reattach the straps, lower into the water, and then this afternoon they will step the mast. So it's all pretty damned amazing. I'm like super pumped about all this, and I hope you are too after watching this come together for the last three years. So yeah, keep watching. Um, this is gonna get wet soon. It is really, really beautiful to see this, really amazing to see. Finally, our boat dipping herself in the water. And from here on in, this boat is wet. It is absolutely time for us to go sailing. Now we have to go through test sailing. We have to go through systems checks and that is all done by sea wind. This is not something that actually I even wanted to see. I just want the boat to be ready for Teresa and I to sail so that our adventures after all this time in the factory, which I have actually really enjoyed and I hope you have too, now come to a close and the next chapter starts, which is us going sailing. There you go. She's in the water, she's floating. She looks amazing. Just before lunch, now. This afternoon, stepping the mast, getting the coin under the mast, and then I have to wave goodbye to Ruby Rose 2 for a bit, and I'll explain all that to you in the next segment. Okay, afternoon, it's one o'clock, 1 p.m., so an hour's break where Lucas and I went to get Tom Bam, pork chops and rice, very briefly. I feel very, 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 very full of pork chop and rice. The boat is in the water. I'm assuming that she is still 100% afloat. Man, there are no leaks, that's a joke. Um, we will be getting the mast on. And that should take about another hour. And then just to run through what happens after that, the boat is off for test sailing. So these are just systems checks, not like the last one. But I have opted to not do this. I don't want to do it. And I don't really want to get on the boat without Therese. So I had a quick chat with um, James this morning and I'm like I just I'm gonna wait I'm gonna wait till we get to Thailand they have the work that they need to do I am happy to let them do the work I will get on the boat to add the coins and do all the other bits and bobs but Therese and I will sail this boat for the first time together and I hope that you get that that you know after you know we both deserve to see this at the same time so yes I've waited three years waiting another couple of weeks will make no difference go, buddy, go, lie, go. Hey, hey, hey. Okay, don't have going around. Yep, yours. Yep. You do the other. How you like your boat? Huh? What are you talking about? Balance. No, I ba want the balance of the boat. I want it to be perfect. The trim. Yeah. The trim. Perfect is, is, you know, it's perfect in balance. It means I know how you sail and I know exactly how you like to sail. So you have a steering that is trimmed for you. That is perfect balance. It was time to step the mast. However, there is one issue that I am really, really set on, and that is getting a coin under the base of the mast. They were meant to take this off and they haven't, so I don't know where the coin's gonna go. It's too late now, it's too late. They're gonna just put it in there. Back off the mast? Yeah, just pop it in. I don't think it will sit there. I had talked about this with Seawind before and they very kindly milled me a little area to put a coin, a British pound coin. And this pound coin has been in the pocket of my oil skins for seven years. It's time, time to put the mast on the boat. Finally, after three years of waiting for this, everything is held in place by the workers. 
shrouds held in place to stop the top sides being damaged and then as the, all the wiring needs to be fed through all the mousing lines fed through just to make sure that everything's put in place it is a very long-winded process to get all these lines in place i just decided to take myself out of the way have a quick turn around the boat just to check everything one last time and then well it's almost time for our boat to go sailing now we are almost there it's a very 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 important time for us so there she is like 11th of june 2023 boat is in the water what can i say it's been a, an epic epic journey thus far but what happens now the mast goes on the boom goes on everything gets finished off sails go on then testing for two or three days i will then return for the final inspection and then we go sailing Teresa and i go sailing so in a week or two as for the videos you will see us sailing this boat hope you enjoyed it give us a like give us a thumbs up thank you all for staying so patient with us she's beautiful i'll see you next week goodbye